Hello friends, in this video, we are going to see that what are the different technologies are going to use to perform the data mining. Technology is used in data mining. There are several technologies which we are using to perform the data mining. First is statistics. As we all know what a statistics is, we perform some mathematical operations on the data to express the representation model and summarize the imperial data or we can say a real world observation. Like we can say we are performing the average or we are performing the mean value or we are finding the median values, we are finding the standard deviation the variance of your data, the scrutinies of your data, we are going to find those data and on the basis of that we are performing the statistics of your data. So statistic analysis involves the collection of methods, applications to large amount of data to conclude and report to the trend. Next is machine learning which is a very important term. Using machine learning, we are going to perform some different algorithms on your data and on the basis of that, we are going to predict a particular value. See, Arthur Samuel defines the machine learning as a field of study that gives the computers the ability to learn without being programmed. When the new data is entered in the computer, that algorithms help the data to grow or change due to the machine learning. In machine learning, an algorithm is constructed to predict the data from the available database. We can say that as a predictive analysis. And it is related to the computational statistics. So, Basically, we are going to perform some algorithm on the data and depending on the data changes or data analysis, we can predict that what amount of data we are going to analyze. Next is, in the machine learning, there are different types of machine learning algorithms are present. In that, the first is supervised learning. Supervised learning is based on the classification technique. It is also called as inductive learning. In this method, the desired output are included in the training data set always. Second type of learning is unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning is based on the clustering technique. Clusters are formed on the basis of similarity measures and desired output are not included in the training data set. See, these are just a basic definition or basic introduction of supervised and unsupervised learning. We'll see those things in a brief in the next videos. Next is semi-supervised learning. In this, it includes some desired output of the training data set to generate the appropriate function. This method generally avoids the large number of labels while we can say our desired outputs. Fourth is active learning. Active learning is very powerful approach in analyzing the data efficiency. The algorithm is designed in a such a way that the desired output should be decided by the algorithm itself. The user plays very important role in this data learning. Next technology is information retrieval. In this, Information deal with the uncertain representation of a semantic object like we can say a text or some images or we can say the uh, different images like the cat image, dog image, then elephant image. So we have to predict that that image is a elephant image. That picture is of a cat picture. So that also we can do with the help of data mining. Next is Database system and data warehousing. 
डेटाबेस आर यूज फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ रेकॉर्डिंग द डेटा एज वेल एज डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग ऑनलाइन ट्रांजेक्शन लाइक ओ एल टी पी यूजेज अ डेटा बेस फॉर डे टू डे ट्रांजेक्शन पर्पज टू रिमूव द रिटर्न एंड डेटा और सेव द स्टोरेज स्पेस डेटा इज गेट नॉर्मलाइज एंड देन स्टोर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टेबल्स एंटिटी मॉडलिंग लाइक एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप मॉडलिंग टेक्निक आर यूज फॉर द रिलेशनल डेटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम डेटा वेयर हाउसेज आर यूज टू स्टोर द हिस्टोरिकल डेटा विच हेल्प टू टेक सम स्टैटिस्टिकल डिसीजन इट इज यूज फॉर ऑनलाइन एनालिटिकल प्रोसेसिंग नेक्स्ट इज डिसीजन सपोर्ट सिस्टम so this is very important as in final uh, analyzing decision support system is a category of information system it is useful in a decision making for a organization it is an interactive software based system which helps to take a decision maker with the extract useful information from the data and a document to make the decision next thing comes is kdd with the data mining kdd means the knowledge discovery in a database the process of discovering the knowledge in a data and applications of data mining technique are also referred as a knowledge discovery in database kdd consists of various application domains like an artificial intelligence we can say ai pattern recognition machine learning data visualization the main role of a kdd is the extract the knowledge from the large database with the help of data mining methods there are different steps of a kdd which are given below first is data cleaning in this step the noisy some outlier data some irrelevant data we have to remove from the database second is data integration in this step the heterogeneous data source are merged into the single data source third is data selection in this step the data which is relevant for the analysis process it get retrieved then fifth is data mining and fourth is data transformation data transformation means in this step the selected data is transformed in a such a way that which are suitable for the data mining the fifth step is data mining in this various techniques are applied on the different data patterns sixth is data evaluation in this step we are performing the different data patterns to evaluate the data required seventh is knowledge representation in this the final step of kdd we represent the knowledge that means we are predicting final value that what this data is giving like we can say accuracy some hyper parameter tuning tools using that we can find that which feature selection technique we are going to use so this is a basic structure of a kdd so consider we are having one database we are cleaning that data then we are performing data warehousing so we are dividing that into the different databases then that relevant data we are sending to the data mining in that space we are also performing a transformation like we are converting the data into the categorical to numerical numerical to different data types plus we can work with a different label encodings and etc thing then after done with all the things we are sending our data to performing the data mining after performing the data mining we are sending different data which are already performed we are sending it to the data evaluation or we can say a pattern evaluation we are performing different algorithms on that 
and after done with that the final knowledge get extracted so that is kdd so there is some difference between the kdd and the data mining that is it is a field of computer science that helps to extract only the useful and previously undiscovered knowledge from the large database by using various tools and the theories but data mining is one of the steps in the kdd it includes a suitable algorithm based on the objective of the kdd process to identify the pattern from the database so we can say a data mining is one of the process of a kdd that means we always have to perform the kdd with the help of data mining so in this video we have seen the different technologies which are going to use for the data mining as well as we have seen very important technique that is kdd through that the knowledge development in database we can do and you can use a data mining technologies thank you